In pictures, it looked like it was small. When we got to the White House, it was kind of big. Oh my gosh, I'm really gonna be like, going to the White House to perform. Okay, I'm on stage. I, like, my legs were literally shaking like crazy. I was hype. During the performance, it was amazing because Miss um, Obama kept smiling at us. She looked right in my eyes and I was like, <gasps> and I smiled, and I smiled, and it was, just, it was just great. That moment that I went to the White House, I'm coming back with heart and spirit. Nobody's not going to take that back. In the spring of 2016, I got a call from the President's Committee on the Arts and the Humanities asking if iTheatrics would be interested in training 16 kids from Brooklyn to perform at the White House at the Turnaround Arts Talent Show. Turnaround Arts is a program which pushes visual arts or performing arts. It just helps improve the art programs in schools, like mine. Turnaround Arts is an incredible program that was initiated by President Obama in 2011 to find joy in teaching and learning again, using the arts to create success in struggling schools. The best part of being a Turnaround Arts School is their performance at the White House, the, the White House Talent Show. So they've been rehearsing their little hearts out and they're eager and excited. They're going to kill this performance because they want to do well and they want to make sure that they represent our school our community and that they represent themselves in a positive way. We had just two weeks to cast 16 kids from four different schools, teach them to sing, act, and dance, and infuse them with the skills and confidence to handle anything and everything that might happen during a live performance. So no pressure, we've got two weeks to get 16 kids White House ready. We started by holding auditions in four different Brooklyn schools. Ebbets Field Middle School, East Flatbush Community Research School, PS165 Ida Posner, and PS284 Gregory Jackson Community School. When I found out that I was in this project, I was happy and surprised because I didn't think that I was going to get in. I got shocked because I heard my name was on a list. And hit, hit. All four schools are in Brooklyn, but they're in different neighborhoods, so this is the first time that a lot of the kids have had a chance to meet each other. You can introduce yourselves. Some of these students have some experience with singing and dancing, but most of them have never performed for, for anyone. Do you guys know who Tina Turner is? She made the step famous. At first, the kids worked in their individual schools, working with a team member from iTheatrics and one of their teachers. And we taught the kids everything they needed to know individually. We got to work with professionals, and then we had to act professional. Making sure that the kids are prepared is my number one priority. Making sure these students feel successful and proud of their work. Five, six, seven, eight. You can't stop the beat. I was so impressed with the way they looked and the way they carried themselves, and we kept going and kept working and, and didn't stop, and no one needed a break. For many of them, this would be the first time they had ever traveled outside of New York City. The first time they stayed in a hotel, and the first time they had ever been without their parents. It was awesome. I had fun on the bus ride. I was about to jump out of my pants and stuff like from the Looney Tunes shows. That was a big opportunity to see the White House and the First Lady. That you never gonna get that opportunity again. We started rehearsing at the Kennedy Center. It was so cool to see the kids' eyes light up as they walked into that building. We reached the rehearsal room and the kids did their number. Hey, you can try and stop my dancing feet, but I, I could see on their faces they weren't happy with their performance. After a quick pep talk, they performed again and they were great. 
But then I noticed the show's director, Damien Wetzel, was chatting with some of the other creatives. Damien pulled us aside and asked if the kids could do the number to a live accompaniment instead of the tracks we'd been rehearsing with. I want to try it with Tony and drums and stuff and see how it goes, just to try. If we did our jobs correctly, these kids could handle anything, right? But this is a big change, coming really late in the process. We distracted the kids with some notes, and we performed the number again. But this time, about halfway through, we turned the tracks off. The kids were performing to the live accompaniment, and they were awesome. You can't stop the beat! And then it was the day of the show. So we all got dressed up and we headed to the White House. Looking for, I'm doing the jeans and Converse check. I like it, I like it. We came all the way from Brooklyn. Let's oh. show them what Brooklyn can do. You earned the right to be on this bus, to be on that stage. So while we were waiting to perform, we were assigned to the Red Room and in walked First Lady Michelle Obama. My mind just blew because she was taller and more beautiful in person. Everybody screamed and Trayvon screamed like a girl. I almost got all the time for that. <laughs> and she looked each one of those kids in the eyes and said, I just want you to know one thing. You guys matter. And then she was like, you're making all that noise in my house. And now it was up to them. We had done everything we possibly could to get these extraordinary young people White House ready. White House ready! They took to the stage and Malachi stepped forward to introduce their piece. When I'm up on stage, I'm awake. When I'm up on stage, I'm on fire. When I'm up on stage, everything is possible in here. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Obama, for helping me and my friends find our true inner bright stars. And also, thank you, Turnaround Arts, for helping us find our true inner spirits. Let's go, guys. Those sorts of opportunities will change lives. I really believe that, that these kids know that they're valued and know that they're respected. They have so many different things to offer, not only their community, but the greater community, and I can't wait to see what they do next. I think the unique thing about kids is that they all have an inner story, and if we can help them get it out and use art as that form to get it out, it's magical. Can't stop me from doing anything I truly believe in. Nobody can stop me from doing anything. Everybody has their own talent, and arts help bring out that talent. And I think that this program, Turnaround Arts, is very good because it brings out the most potential out of everyone. These kids' lives have been positively transformed thanks to the power of musical theater.